What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news. And unfortunately, this is not some news that I really want to share because it's not its not good news, I would say. But it's its understandable news, I would believe. And I, I just want to get it out there and talk about it because I don't think anybody else has talked about it. Not that that would matter. I would still talk about it and make my own video anyways. But today, man, we do have some interesting developments in a situation, of course, which, which we'll dive into right now. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Yesterday, Late night, uh, I don't know about late night, but it, it, it was like in the evening, I do believe. Ringside Collectibles did post to their Instagram page, and they shared this image, and it was an official statement regarding Mattel, regarding a certain situation. So as you guys know, on August 24, 2023, Bray Wyatt did tragically pass away. A horrible situation, of course, uh, all wrestling fans do know about now. But Bray Wyatt did pass away on August 24, 2023. And with his passing, there have been some different developments and things of that nature that have actually... Uh, came into the action figure world in terms of his action figures. Now, I'm going to read this official statement from Mattel and Ringside Collectibles and just kind of give you guys the update here. It says, Bray Wyatt Mattel update. Mattel just announced the following. We've had to adjust two waves of upcoming WWE figures due to the unfortunate passing of WWE superstar Bray Wyatt. We'll be offering the performer's family some space at this time, but in partnership with WWE, we look forward to celebrating this amazing superstar and his legacy and future lines to come. Bray will be removed from the following waves. WWE Elite Collection Greatest Hit it's 3 and WWE Ultimate Edition Wave 20. Ringside note, refunds will be issued to all affected customers. So as you guys can see there in the update, the WWE Elite Collection Greatest Hits 3 Bray Wyatt and the WWE Ultimate Edition Wave 20 Bray Wyatt will no longer be coming, at least at this moment. So it does look like Mattel is giving their family some space at this time. And there's certainly ways you can look at this from a, a lot of different perspectives, to be honest with you, for, from this Bray Wyatt Mattel action figure entire situation. Like, obviously, these are just toys. This is not going to, you know, affect us in any way in terms of altering our lives. Life. And a lot of people have come out and said, well, you know, all the proceeds need to go to the family and, and go, you know, donate it to the family in this time and, you know, support them in that way. And I think that'll probably happen anyways. I think that, you know, it'll be similar to probably the Brody Lee situation where they took those two packs and those figures. And I do believe every figure that Brody Lee sells, I'm pretty sure he still, you know, his family collects all of that. I think they still donate all the money from his figures to them. And that'll probably be the same situation that we see here with Bray Wyatt and his family and, you know, all of them getting all the proceeds that come from from those action figures but so the Mattel team just wants to give them time you know process this entire thing and go about it without you know the the figures releasing here and and you also have to take into consideration man the legal aspect of it which is probably where a lot of this stems from you know we just recently saw the macho man figure the ultimate edition his estate didn't want you know a certain cut or at least that's what the rumor mill is right they're they're in discussion or whatever the case is over there but with this Bray Wyatt situation that similar thing is going to occur anytime you have uh, especially untimely death or untimely tragic situ situations happen like this you always have to bring in the estate and uh, you know how it's going to be broke up and the will and all these different percentages and who gets what and that's probably where a lot of this st stems from and while these figures are going to be put on hiatus on top of the uh you know the the grief and whatever other things that you know have to be taken care of with the family and the situation regarding mattel and any of his licenses and products i would be lying if i didn't say i was bummed out because those figures look incredible the entire situation is obviously very tragic it, it's a unfortunate unfortunate situation. These are not things that, you know, you want to prepare for or want to be or want to go through or, or any of those things. Now, it does say in this thing that it says we look forward to celebrating this amazing superstar and his legacy and future lines to come. And I could see them in the future, man, maybe doing some sort of commemorative pack with maybe like The Fiend and maybe the Firefly Funhouse or maybe the Wyatt Family Wyatt. And you guys know that they're going to knock this out of the park. I think that we're probably going to see some new sculpts, like some brand new things about a Bray Wyatt man, like a big, similar to the Faces of Foley three pack. I could see them doing some sort of, you know, three faces of Wyatt, not, you know, three faces necessarily, but a big elite pack. Maybe it'd be ringside exclusive, you know, just like the two pack with Brody Lee and his son. I could see them doing something crazy like, you know, just over the top with Bray Wyatt, with the Wyatt family, Bray Wyatt, with the Firefly Funhouse version with The Fiend, maybe with the Dark Match. And that Ultimate Edition looked absolutely incredible. And so did the Greatest Hits. I was thinking that maybe that Greatest Hits figure was going to be his best elite figure of all time. And it's still, uh, hopefully these things are still going to release. It does just say, we look forward to celebrating this amazing superstar and his legacy and future lines to come. So I guess they're just going to give it a little bit of a hiatus or they're just stepping away from this t at this time from making Bray Wyatt to give it a little bit more time before they bring his figures 
back. But I think people are still going to be just as on fire for those figures when it is time to sell those figures. I could see, you know, as garbage as it is that, you know, people are going to scalp and people are going to, just like at my Walmart, right? Just the other day at my Walmart, I think it was like two days or three days before Bray Wyatt passed. There was like six or seven Fiend Ultimates at my Walmart. And I want to say even the day after he passed, they were still at my Walmart. And then I came back, I think two or three days later, and all six of them were gone. And I hope that those were people that actually just were skipping out on the figure and then they, they finally decided to grab them. I hope that it wasn't just one guy going in there, sweeping them out and then selling them all. But you know, you're going to get people in that situation. In the shoe space, I've been a long time collector of Kobe's and Kobe memorabilia and Kobe shoes. He's my favorite athlete of all time. And when he tragically passed away, his shoes were pretty easy. His, his shoes were so much easier to get, man. Like the ones that I grew up with, the ones that I collected from high school. Now all of those shoes quadrupled in price, man. You wouldn't even believe it. Now you can't even get your hands on a pair of Kobe's without paying a thousand bucks. Like it's so ridiculous what people do in these situations. So I imagine Bray Wyatt's action figures are probably going to be in a similar situation and maybe they're trying to do it where they can make more so that those kinds of things don't happen. I'm not entirely sure what Mattel's thinking there, but the greatest hits figure that is releasing looks so good. I am very much looking forward to that figure and that Ultimate Edition Wave 20 Bray Wyatt with the dark match. I was row one at the Royal Rumble to witness that matchup. Like I have actual video footage of Bray Wyatt beating up on LA Knight and LA Knight hitting him through the table. I was right there for that. If you guys go back and watch the Royal Rumble, go watch. I think it was actually his last match ever, if I'm not mistaken. If you guys go back and watch that matchup, I'm literally right there. It's in my Royal Rumble vlog as well, but I certainly want that figure in, in action figure form. Not only is it a beautiful looking ultimate figure, it was one of the most, like the most, it was one of the figures I was looking forward to the most out of the ultimates coming soon. And of course, it was a little ways away. We still have Ultimate Edition 19 with Kurt Angle, Bianca Belair, you know, Bobby Lashley, but Ultimate Edition 20 had Roman Reigns, Asuka, and Bray Wyatt in it. I don't know if they're going to end up replacing him and pushing him back at a, I don't know how far they're going to push that back. I mean, there's no telling how long they're going to wait and when they're going to actually put him in the figure lines, but I was very much looking forward to both of those figures. Those figures looked amazing, and I totally understand it. I, I get where Mattel's coming from, but I will definitely be one of the ones waiting around, waiting for those action figures to hit, because I think they're going to be amazing. They look incredible, and I look forward to future Bray Wyatt figures that are going to be amazing, but unfortunately, at this time, we do have to wait on that, but and while I do want the ultimate Bray Wyatt, and I do want that greatest hits Bray Wyatt, I definitely see where Mattel is coming from, and I do respect the decision that they're making here, even though as collectors and things like that, we do want to have those Bray Wyatt figures, because they're so damn good. Those are damn good Bray Wyatt figures, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait on the, the figures, and I cannot wait to again to see. And some people were speculating that maybe it was the family's decision completely. Maybe they approached Mattel about it, or maybe they, you know, that they were the ones that decided, or maybe Mattel asked them and said, hey, do you still want these figures to come out, or maybe, you know, these estates and these people that, you know, are responsible for these kinds of decisions do play a role in these things. I mean, we've seen that in the past with other figures and things of that nature that have been canceled in the past or, you know, that have been uh, taken off shelves and things of that nature. So I also wonder how far along these figures are and were. I don't think the Ultimate Edition would be near release. I feel like it would be super early. But that Greatest Hits figure, I feel like that Greatest Hits figure has been done for a little bit now. You know, we've seen it in a couple shows. It's been a while since we saw it at San Diego Comic-Con. We saw it at that show in London, I could absolutely see that that Greatest Hits figure has probably already been printed off at least, or it's been made. At least a handful of those have definitely been made. But anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up today's news video. I wanted to get on here and talk about this situation because I think it was certainly worth the time and uh, uh, entire video dedicated to it because I wanted to talk about it and the Bray Wyatt situation, man. But I look forward to so many different Bray Wyatt action figures, man. I'm so excited for the future of the Bray Wyatt action figures when we finally get to do so, and I will be waiting by, steadily waiting by for whenever, you know, they decide to, whoever's decision it is, whether it's Mattel, whether it's the family, I am going to be ready and willing to pay for those Bray Wyatt figures and get them in hand, man. Can't wait for the next Bray Wyatt figure, but rest in peace to Bray Wyatt and the legend himself. Still doesn't even feel real. Every time that I remember it or I see something, it completely blindsides me all over again, man. It's it's insane. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on the situation down in the comment section below. Let me know all of your thoughts on the situation down in the comment section below, but that is going to wrap this up, man. A huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. Thank you so much for your continued support, man. But that is going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Name Toys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later.